107, Michael and Maddie. It's Monday morning, September 16th, 2024. Nick Jonas has a birthday today. The Joe Bro is 32 years old. Amy Poehler, happy birthday. Well, you know what? At least the weather's turned. Oh, sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Oh, God, I was. Finally, sweater, sweater weather. weather. The Boston College grad is 53 years old. Comedian Lenny Clark, we hung out with him a few years back at Whites of Westport. He turns 71 today. Happy birthday to General Motors. It was founded in Flint, Michigan on this date, 1908. Play-Doh invented on this date, 1955, originally designed to be a wallpaper cleaner, but found out it was a lot more fun to play with. Xerox introduced the very first copying machine on this date 65 years ago. And 31 years ago, the Cheers spinoff, Frasier, debuted on NBC on this date, 1993. It was created by a guy from back mid-70s, 51 now. Bringing your taste of Hollywood right here to the South Coast. And we are here for it. We're spilling the tea with Maddie's entertainment update on the Michael and Maddie Show. Dan and Eugene Levy doing a great job last night hosting the Emmys. And I was hoping they would do this. They brought the cast back together for a little reunion on stage of the Schitt's Creek Gang. And they brought on Annie Murphy first. And they had a cute little moment before they brought on Catherine O'Hara. It's my TV sister, Annie Murphy. Hi. Hi. What's up, Annie? Well, they said the shining star of Schitt's Creek was going to present the final award of the night. So. Well, there's, there's, been, there's been a little confusion here, yeah. Annie. Cause... I know, and that's fine. You can stay on stage, but just kind of no, 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 back no. a little bit. No. <laughs> so, Annie, we're actually here to present that person, which... Which isn't is me. You. Which it's isn't me. Nope. Which is not, not me. No. That I knew. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Catherine O'Hara. Man, this is one of those shows that just doesn't get old for me. It is just so good. I can't believe it was only on for five years. 2015 to 2020. Could they get more out of it? If needed? I, I think they reached the end of the road on it. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I think they tied the, tied the bow on that one pretty well. But it was such a good show. I, re- I was really excited to see them uh, reunite. And I think Dan and Eugene Levy are perfect hosts. You They're know? great. They're like the perfect father-son duo. They're super fun. A um, lot of big winners last night. A couple shows I guess I'm going to have to try out. Shogun won a bunch of different uh, awards. Drama series, best actor in a drama series, best actress. Uh, the Morning Show won a couple. The Crown, The Bear, winning for actor, best actor in a comedy series. It's not a comedy. It's not uh, a comedy. I don't understand. Baby Reindeer winning a lot. It's your show, Gad, Gazelle. Forget about that uh, one. <laughs> Richard Gadd winning a lot of awards for that one. Fargo. Fargo is still on? <laughs> I feel like... It's like 1987, Fargo, right? Well, no, but Fargo, I feel like that's been on forever. No? It's got to be a reboot know. of the uh, the other one. Though. I was going to say, because yeah. that's, that's old. Well, it's not from the 80s. I'm saying, like, I feel like it's been on since, like, 2015 or something like that. Hmm. I don't know. That, that, that's a lot. Um, last week tonight with John Oliver won. Um, yeah, a lot of big winners yesterday. And uh, I don't think they're going to go back to having two Emmys a year. That was a lot. Right. That's yeah. right. Because of the uh, writer's strike, they had yeah. a, a late one, right? That, that was a lot. So I think we're just going to go back to once a year, guys. <laughs> Everybody is talking about Jane's addiction this morning. After a concert in Boston over the weekend ended abruptly after Perry Farrell appeared to shove Dave Navarro before throwing a punch or two at the guitarist. A video of the incident was captured and it quickly circulated online. And it's a very confusing and kind of jarring moment where the front runner is singing and then all of a sudden he just kind of walks over to Dave Navarro who's playing the guitar and is kind of like singing in his face and then stops singing and kind of does one of those like what's up like stances like what's up what do you want and yeah. then pushes him and then punches him 
Navarro handled it so oh, well. Oh, he did. He did it perfect. He didn't throw a single punch. He tried to calm him down. Bandmates rushed over uh, and kind of somewhat tackled Perry <laughs> to get him off the stage. Dave Navarro quietly puts his guitar down, walks over to the fans, starts signing autographs. Like, very top-notch guy. Uh, but they issued a very heartfelt apology <laughs> this morning. Um after that so very awkward kind of thing they actually uh canceled their next show because i'm sure they're all not they get some on. things to work out I yeah think. yeah so so i get an industry insider that said that i guess the whole tour perry was complaining that the music had been loud and people couldn't hear him singing and i guess it reached a boiling point on friday night and boom yeah Awkward. So we'll just have to uh, wait. There's no further details about the upcoming shows just yet. They're supposed to perform in Toronto this weekend. Obviously, that's not happening, but uh, stay tuned on that one. Poor Shakira. She was filmed abruptly leaving the stage after fans appeared to film up her dress during a performance. She was showing off her signature dance moves on stage at Live Miami as she was dancing to her new single. Uh, the DJ kind of, you know, invited her on stage. He played her song. She wasn't singing. She was just dancing to it. And you see her look down and kind of wave her finger at somebody saying like, no, I see you. Don't do that. And then she keeps dancing. And then she just abruptly stops dancing and gets off stage. Uh, unreal. People online were quickly coming to her defense, being like, people are gross, uh, saying that's truly disappointing behavior. Artists deserve respect and privacy, both on and off stage. Uh, Shakira can't even enjoy a dance to her own song. <laughs> people saying, ban all men from everything. <laughs> like, it's a joke. But, yeah, it's uh, it's just pig. really sad. What it's really pig. sad. Why? I mean, why wasn't this guy arrested? That's a crime. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, maybe he was. I don't really know the end of this story because it, it was. Assume he was a guy. I don't even know. It was a guy. Okay. Trust me. Right. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how it ended because it was kind of just. It almost looked like the security footage that I was watching. Um, I would hope he got arrested or at least he escorted should, just because out. Because he's on a stage doesn't mean that that you know. The, yeah. Like that, that's disgusting. It's no different than like, doing it anywhere grosses, else. What grosses me out the most, it's like, what are you going to do with that video? I'll tell you what he's going to do with that video. He's going to sell that video. Ugh, it's disgusting. So disgusting. I'm sorry, Shakira. You deserve better. More entertainment news on the Fun 107 app. Sunny in 70s. It is 52 now. So another assassination attempt over the weekend. Unreal. I can't keep up. Are we... Becoming desensitized to these assassination what attempts. What do you mean? Do you feel like yesterday's assassination attempt on Trump rocked the political world as much as the first one? I think yes, but I think the media handled it way differently, which makes it seem like we're just like, eh, whatever. So how did the media handle it the first time and then the second time differently? Well, I think the media, it was like a, a, a hurricane of headlines and just like concern. and Round one, you mean? Correct. Yeah. And just like opinions and facts and everything in between. And then this one, it just kind of was like an everyday headline. He, that's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. Here's, here's my interpretation of um, what happened yesterday. Here's America watching... The Chiefs and Bengals and Taylor Swift in the press box. The phone beeps. Oh, another assassination attempt on, on Trump. Okay, so it's what, second and ten? Yeah. And that was, I think that was pretty much everybody in America yesterday. Well, I think it was a little more of like, ugh, what's happening to our country? All right, so who's winning? Like, I think people are, <laughs> totally, I, think, yeah. I think people are concerned, but it's like, what are you supposed to do? You know? You're supposed to riot in the streets. You're supposed to blog about it. You're supposed to write a podcast about it. Like, I don't know. What are you supposed to do? I don't know. It just felt very it too downplayed. I don't know. It just I, I'm afraid that we are so lulled, man. Like it's just like, yeah. Oh, you know. How about that? 
I guess they didn't get him again. How about that shooting at the school recently in Georgia? No, you're right. Nobody, n- nobody has talked 1, about that. One thousand percent right. You know, it's like, yeah. I mean, I think it's like when you see that headline so often, it's just like add it to the collection. Yeah, it's really sad. It was good to see Kamala Harris come out and say, you know, no violence is ever the the answer. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that's good to to see. But uh, did you see any of this? This is part of the strategy. Like this is being staged by Trump to to get attention and to to boost numbers. What violence? No, the, the assassination attempts. Like they, they're Ugh. fake. They're fake assassination attempts. People are saying they're fake. Yes. Interesting. Fake news. That would be very interesting. <laughs> Do you? I mean, do you think that's true? No. Yeah. No. I mean, especially not the the, the first one because they, they actually got him. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. I am. I don't know. I haven't seen that one. That's crazy. Yeah. I just. I really. You know. Hope that we're not going down a road where this becomes so normal that we just like. I think we're there. I mean, I think it happened yesterday. That's my point. I really do. Like. Like. Oh. Well. Yeah. Well, that, wow. Okay. And then. Oh, look at Taylor jumping up and down for for Kelsey. That's so cute. They're the best couple. Oh, God. Truly, right? Welcome to America. Fun 107. And imagine winning $30,000 from Fun 107. Unreal. Honestly, what would you buy with $30,000? You're going to make it mm, like a good one. I think I'd be boring and I'd pay off my debt. (laughs) Nothing boring about that, though. Yeah, that's fair. That's a a, uh, monthly bill wiped away forever. I'll take that. What about you, Gazelle? What would you buy with 30 grand? Maybe like... New furniture. Yeah, new furniture. I just paid off my car, so I don't want a new car. Because then that's going to be another bill. So, yeah. Maybe a jet ski, though. You know, it's kind of- <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it was hey, a big no, jump there. But- no wrong answers. As a matter of fact, you know what, Maddie? That's illegal. If, if Let's make it so you wow. cannot have it be a bill. Aww. No bills. Oh, fun only. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to like Saint Tropez, or I'm going oh, to. Nice. I'm going back to Curacao or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going. I'm back on the right I'm, track. There. I am out of here. Yeah, I I would take a definite. Would be, I would force my family. Oh jeez. Wow. What to go see like President Jefferson's <laughs> mansion or something? <laughs> okay. Somebody, you. <laughs> we'll do something else then. Uh, <laughs> No, so that would make it a European vacation. This would be there a full-on, full-blown Chevy Chase family vacation to Europe. There you go. Maybe two of them, because thirty thousand is a lot of money. Oh, I'd get an RV. Yeah, good call. I'd get a nice RV, but like make sure it's paid off, so there's no bills. But like you get an RV, you use it to travel around. It's like a big toy. That's what I would do. Well, whatever you would want to do with thirty thousand dollars, we've got that for you coming up right after eight o'clock this morning. Maddie's going to give you a three-digit pin. You enter that on the Fun 107 app, and you could win thirty grand today. Big thanks to Is Schwartz Appliance for helping us do this each and every year. Thirty grand in your hand. Our first round coming up this morning at eight on Fun 107. It is six fifty and a ninety-second news update with Phil. A twenty-four-year-old woman is dead following a crash in Taunton. Police say Mallory Humphreys of Taunton was a passenger in a car that crashed into the back of a tractor trailer early Sunday morning on Route 44. Humphreys died at the scene, and the 27-year-old Fall River man driving the car was hospitalized with unspecified injuries. The cause is under investigation. A body that remains unidentified after it was recovered in Rentham a half century ago is being exhumed. The body of a white male was discovered in April of 1974 near a pumping station. It was later buried in a town cemetery. The remains are being exhumed in hopes of developing a DNA profile that could lead to positive identification. The body will be returned to the grave in Rentham once the testing is complete. Congressman Bill Keating is confident that the funding will be in place for the replacement of the Cape Cod bridges, but he tells WCVB he does have some concerns about funding for the needed new bridges if Donald Trump is elected president or if Republicans take Congress. Keating's district includes the Cape, and he says the $4.5 billion cost projections for the bridges is enormous. Over $2 billion in funding is already in place to replace the Bourne and Sagamore bridges. 
Former President Trump is saying he will never surrender following what the FBI described as an apparent assassination attempt on Sunday. In a fundraising email, Trump said he's safe and well following gunshots in his vicinity and that nothing will slow him down. Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw reported that U.S. Secret Service agents engaged a man near the Trump International Golf Course armed with an AK-style rifle equipped with a scope while the former president was playing golf. And Tuesday's full moon will be accompanied by a partial lunar eclipse, offering people in North America, South America, Africa, and Europe an opportunity to see some of the moon's exterior concealed by Earth's shadow. In sports, the Patriots lost to the Seahawks in overtime during New England's season home opener, 23-20. Pats visit the New York Jets Thursday night. Red Sox lost two to the Yankees, 5-2. Boston visits Tampa Bay for three games starting tomorrow night. Traffic and weather next. From the Blue Point Restaurant Newsroom, I'm Phil Devitt for Fun 107. It's called The Door. You heard that on Fun 107. It's Michael and Maddie. It's going to be a nice day today again. Sunny, mid-70s, and we are at 55. All right, so I couldn't let the show go by without talking about a wedding I went to on Saturday. That it was kind of different for once where I was a guest as opposed to working. And whenever that happens, it's it's very difficult for me to step out of the work zone and just we enjoy myself. We both had to do that when Maddie got married, remember? <laughs> but, you know, you had two two wedding DJs in your, uh, you know, audience and like, <laughs> we you know, just had to sit there and just say, no, you know, quietly judge. No, your, the, your DJ was, was good, great. Though. He was good. Great he was DJ, very good. great vibes. Maddie's wedding was a vibe all around. Speaking of vibes, a different vibe on Saturday. Buddy I, I grew up with, he goes by West. He's like a firefighter down in Westport. He gets married at the Holy Ghost Club, which is very countryish. Okay, his wedding was called the Big Country Wedding. Is that down by the water? No, no, no. D- deep in the sticks. Okay, off of Main uh, Sodom Road, off of Sodom Road there. And uh, if you go there, usually it's like a clam bake. But what threw me off is on the invitation it says casual attire only. Yeah, I saw you post something about mm. that on Saturday. You were stressed about. The casual, like, what level of casualness yeah. is right for a casual wedding? When I see casual attire on something, that tells me I can wear whatever I want. Literally? Yeah. Casual attire, I could wear, okay, so I can wear jeans and a t-shirt. Perfect. You're not going to be able to wear, like, you can't wear your workout clothes. You can't wear, wear whatever you want. Casual attire. Well, huh, okay. It, you guys both know me. My casual is very casual. Like, I almost went with a Hawaiian shirt and shorts. And I would have been happy because like, it was hot. Could Gazelle wear the Fun 107 football <laughs> shirt he's wearing right now to that wedding? I guess so. I <laughs> mean, casual. casual attire. Casual means casual. A majority of people showed up in jeans and cut-off shirts. <laughs> like, if it, if it said semi-casual or semi-formal. Business casual? That means, yeah. That means, like, you don't, shirt. men don't have to wear a tie, but they should wear a collared shirt. Yeah. And women, you know, don't wear jeans, but you don't have to wear a gown. Like, it kind of, you know. But if it says casual, psh. Just go with it, right? Jeans and a t-shirt, baby. Flip-flops? Probably. Wow. Mm-hmm. The uh, the guys, the groom, groomsmen all wore, like, jeans, cowboy boots, cowboy hat. Hey, they looked real good. They looked like, uh, what's that show I like there with Rip? Uh, oh, Yellowstone. Uh, Yellowstone. <laughs> it, it, was like a, it was a Yellowstone wedding. That's exactly what it was. Did they so, have farm animals at the wedding? No. Because you I did. I had the farm animals. That was the Noah's Ark wedding. That's what that one was. But I get there, and again, because I guess the stress was I don't, now I don't want to overdress. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to stand out. But you, you, know? you would, I'd be more afraid of underdressing than overdressing. See, you, you always take it up a notch because mm. you'll know it's ever going to be like, what a loser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he's overdressed. Yeah. So, so I know the listeners can't see. I'm going to show you guys. So this is what we ended up going with. This was what I wore. Yeah, so, that's perfect. You notice anything there? Boots. I wore boots. It was so comfortable. I loved it. I hate dress shoes, man. I can't stand them. But I got to wear boots. I had some, I had like a hunter green pair of slacks. Not even slacks. They're like dockers and a polo. I think that's perfect. There we go. Perfectly I was, casual. I was comfortable. I wasn't, you know, too far out of the box. I blended in. There were a couple people at my table. They're like, ooh, we dress up too much. We shouldn't have wore like a button down white shirt. But you know what? It, it is what you make it. And uh, it's all about, like I said, the, the bridesmaids, they looked gorgeous. They had like like a maroon red, orangey kind of like dress where all the guys wore their cowboy boots and their cowboy hats. And uh, they had incredible food there. Oh, don't even get me started on the food. 
it was all you can eat buffet. So your boy went up a few times. Was it a barbecue? It was. Mm, oh man, what did we eat? Yeah, there was, <laughs> there, sorry, pig roast. The, no, no, no. There, there was some barbecue there, but there were some fish and chips. There was fish and chips like I've never had before, and that wasn't even on like the catering company. It was just some guy who cooked the fish that he caught that morning. Hmm. He went out, got a couple of a bunch of fish, and then ended up cooking it up. But you know what? It was it was awesome. It was a beautiful weekend. The night was so relaxing. Tiny little bit of a breeze, just enough there. You didn't need a sweatshirt. It had all those Edison light bulbs everywhere. So it really felt kind of like a county fair kind of feel nice. to it, you know? Definitely different. This was officially my first country wedding I've been to. Would I go to again? Absolutely. And to be honest with you, as much as I loved my wedding, I would definitely kind of maybe do something along the terms of that. I like the whole point of casual dress. Why? You don't got to worry about like things falling on your shirt and you're like, oh, this was an expensive shirt. No, forget about it. Maddie uh, likes the formal Yeah, stuff. I'm the complete opposite. Yeah. I'm like ah. cringing at this. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, there was, oh, there were man. people there that were dressed like they just, they parked their Harley and they, they got off. And then, oh my God, the guy it. literally has a Harley Davidson t-shirt cut off. Yep. Bandana. Wow. Hat. So that real that is legit cash. Oh, oh, that's a lot of people wore hats too. Just like regular baseball caps. Yeah. That's where I thought I was going to be too casual, but I could have definitely gotten away with a hat. So, hey, you know what? To the Thurstons, congratulations. Hey, they're just as married. Doesn't matter how yeah. fancy or casual. Seriously. Advice. They probably saved a lot of money, too. Best of luck to the Thurstons. It is 7.53 and a 90-second news update. Phil Devitt. A Taunton woman is dead after a crash early Sunday morning. 24-year-old Mallory Humphreys was a passenger in a car that struck the back of a tractor trailer on Route 44 in Taunton. The driver of the car, a 27-year-old Fall River man, was injured and taken to Rhode Island Hospital. The tractor trailer driver was not hurt. Police are investigating the cause. The Worcester County DA's office is investigating the death of a state police recruit from injuries sustained during training. Enrique Delgado Garcia of Worcester was reportedly hurt while boxing at the academy. State police say it was a training exercise on defensive tactics. Delgado Garcia was rushed to the hospital after the incident, but later pronounced dead. Before he died, he was given the oath of office as a full state trooper in the presence of family, friends, and classmates. Good news for Somerset residents. A new lockbox program is available to help seniors and people with disabilities in emergencies. The program allows first responders to enter your home without damaging property if you can't reach the door. Lockboxes are free and installed by police and fire departments. For more information, you can call Officer Sean Kelly at the non-emergency number 508-679-2138. The FBI says it's investigating an apparent assassination attempt on Donald Trump and his West Palm Beach Golf Club yesterday. Trump confirmed he was safe and unharmed. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tank. Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw reported that U.S. Secret Service agents engaged a man near the golf course armed with an AK-style rifle equipped with a scope. After dropping the weapon, the suspect fled in an SUV and was later caught in a neighboring county. And Tito Jackson is dead at the age of 70. Entertainment Tonight reported that Jackson passed away Sunday with a longtime Jackson family friend and former family manager telling the publication it's believed he suffered a heart attack while driving. Tito was an original member of the Jackson 5, which rose to fame in the late 1960s and 1970s. In sports, the Patriots lost in overtime to the Seahawks in their season opener at Gillette Stadium. Final score, 23-20. New England now travels to New York to face the Jets on Thursday. Red Sox fell to the Yankees 5-2. Boston heads south to Tampa Bay for a three-game series starting tomorrow night. And longtime voice of the Boston Red Sox, Joe Castiglione, is retiring. He made the announcement during yesterday's game. He's been on the Boston Red Sox radio network for 42 years, the longest play-by-play -play tenure of any Sox broadcaster. Traffic and weather next. From the Blue Point Restaurant Newsroom, I'm Phil Devitt for Fun 107. So have you guys cut the cord yet on cable? Yes. How long ago? Oh God, I, I haven't had cable, I would say... In like six to eight years. Okay. I've never had it. Never had cable. Well, my, my parents had yeah, it, but you, I, I never had yeah. it independently. So it's funny. My wife, uh, the other day, she probably about a week or two ago, she goes, how much do we pay for cable? And I said, we haven't had cable in like five years, <laughs> which is like my 
point is that nobody even missed it. Even the kids don't care. It's crazy how much the kids don't care. If the, you tried to take away my cable when I was their age, complete revolution. I would be like, what? Well, it's because of all the streaming services. Like, I have YouTube TV, and it basically sure. runs like cable television. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I don't even realize that I don't have it. So my big question is, there's only one hiccup when it comes to cutting the cord. And I can I could cut the cord all day long and fill in the blanks with Netflix and, you know, everything else. The one thing that I have not figured out yet is how in the world do you watch football without cable? What does your husband do? YouTube TV has access to it. So they've got the games. We don't have all, but so it's tricky because he's a Cowboys fan. So his games aren't always on. Well, they wouldn't be if you had cable um, either. You know what I mean? Like, it's not every Cowboys game is doesn't on. doesn't Amazon Prime have the some, rights to the games some and stuff? Games. And that's, see, that's the problem, is that you can't... For, well, if you want to do the YouTube TV and then you get the Sunday ticket, it's like hundreds of dollars. Like mm -hmm. It's like over 300 bucks for that. Just for the... Forget about your YouTube subscription. you got to get your YouTube TV subscription and then to get the NFL Sunday ticket, it's like 350 bucks. But I just want to be able to watch games. So, you know, I don't need every game that ever there was, but I want to be able to sit down on a Sunday and watch a game. Some of them are on Paramount. Some of them are on Yeah, they're kind of all over the Plus. place right now. Some of the, you have to have like seven subscriptions to be able to cover all the bases. And I'm just like... Is football the last appointment viewing situation, you think? Yes. Yeah. So I say live sports, it, but yeah. football is the biggest of them. What about soap operas? That's pretty big. Oh, God. It's got to be big. Everything else can be watched at any time. Yeah. You don't need to watch soap operas live. Right. Okay. So, like, so do you, you have the YouTube thing and that's how we you get YouTube around it? TV. How much is it? But that's just like cable. I mean, why you might as well have cable. I mean, what's the point, though? I don't know. Because, like, with the YouTube TV, you can actually, like, kind of pick which tier you want, if you will. So we have, like, the most basic one. And then on top of that, we have Hulu, we have Amazon, we yeah. have Netflix, we have Max. We so have, how much all in are you paying a month? Is we're it probably, probably paying a good amount. Probably more than you would. Probably. You're not doing it. You're not winning. I don't know. They're going to get you no matter what. That's the bottom line, right? They're going to get you. What's the point we're trying to make here? Michael? I'm trying to say. <laughs> are you I, trying I, to I'm bring trying back to cable? Cleanly. No. I, I just wanted to cleanly cut cable, and I've done yeah. such a good job with it except for this one thing. And I want to ask people, what mm. do you do? You NFL fans out there, here's what I, here's what I, I think did. you can watch it online. Well, here's the thing. You can't. No, you can't. Illegally. You can, you can watch them uh, from college football online like that, but I'm not the NFL. What I've done, so uh, this is where I've stooped to yesterday. Call up my dad. Hey, dad. What, what are you, you doing? doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm watching the Patriots because I, I know the answer to that question anyway. I'm watching the game. I'm like, hey, you have what's your password for Verizon? Oh. And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, hey, is it cool if I change your password to something else? Oh, my God. So that I can log on and watch because I couldn't watch the Fox game huh. because the Patriots were on Fox and I had no way to watch it. So I'm a loser calling up my dad. At the age of 50. Yeah, you're a loser. Like, begging for passwords? This is where I am now? Why don't you just go to a local restaurant? And watch the whole game, though? I don't know. He doesn't drink. How many wings can one guy <laughs> eat? So, anyway, I, I begged my, my... I didn't have to beg. He just gave me the thing. Sure, he is. I don't care. And it didn't even work. After all that. It, it, after all that, bruised my pride. Couldn't even watch the, the, the Patriots game. Until I bummed the password off my son, who would, who would <laughs> subscribe to NFL Plus on the NFL app. However, we had to both sit there and watch them on my phone on their phones. You don't have so Apple what, AirPlay. You don't have any of that. So that what to get it up on the TV? Yeah, you can't do it. The NFL doesn't let you do it. Hmm. So you have to watch it on a tablet or a phone. Yeah. So I just feel like too much of like. I feel like I work hard. Like I deserve to watch a football <laughs> game on Sunday. What am I going to do to make this happen? Cable. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do it. I'm seeing ESPN. Sling. Yeah, see, here's the thing. ESPN covers some of the games, but not the Sunday games. I see Sling TV. Okay. YouTube TV. Yes. Fubo. 
You don't want football. And NFL Plus. NFL Plus we have, but you, you can't watch all the games. I don't understand that. It's weird. It's just weird. Yeah, that's weird. So football fans, help me out. What am I missing? What should I do here? I deserve to watch a Sunday afternoon of football. I work hard all week. Let <laughs> me watch my plea. football. 508 994 1071. It is 829. Phil Devitt, 90 second news update. A fatal car crash early Sunday morning in Taunton claimed the life of a 24-year-old woman. Mallory Humphreys was a passenger in a car that rear-ended a tractor-trailer on Route 44 shortly after midnight. The driver of the car, a 27-year-old Fall River man, was injured and transported to Rhode Island Hospital. The tractor-trailer driver was uninjured. Authorities are investigating. Two alleged neo-Nazis charged with terror-related offenses by the U.S. Department of Justice reportedly had Rachel Rollins on a hit list. Dallas Humber of California and Matthew Allison of Idaho are accused of planning to try and start a race war. Rollins is a former Massachusetts U.S. attorney and Suffolk district attorney, and she was one of several public officials allegedly on the hit list. Prosecutors say evidence in the case includes a picture of Rollins with a racial slur and her address written on it. A grant is funding a new lockbox program in Somerset. The program allows first responders to enter your home safely in emergencies, even if you can't reach the door. For more information, you can call Officer Sean Kelly at the Somerset Police Department. The son of the alleged gunman who was waiting to target former President Trump on his Florida golf course Sunday says his dad is not a violent person. Oren Ruth told the Daily Mail that his father, Ryan Ruth, hates Trump but was shocked to hear about the supposed assassination attempt. Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw said the U.S. Secret Service agents engaged a man identified as 58-year-old Ryan Ruth near the Trump International Golf Course. He was armed with an AK-style rifle equipped with a scope. And Warner Brothers Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is staying at the top of the box office in its second week. The Tim Burton sequel made $52 million over the weekend as it moves closer to the $200 million mark domestically. In sports, Patriots lost in overtime to the Seahawks 23-20. New England heads to New York to face the Jets on Thursday. Red Sox lost to the Yankees 5-2, off to Tampa Bay for a three-game set starting on Tuesday. And a longtime voice of the Boston Red Sox is calling it a career. Joe Castiglione announced his retirement during yesterday's game. He's been the play-by-play announcer on the Red Sox radio network for 42 years, the longest tenure in team history. Traffic and weather next. From the Blue Point Restaurant Newsroom, I'm Phil Devitt for Fun 107. Well, we were laughing about this earlier this morning. After all this sunshine that we've had over the past, what, like two, three weeks straight of sunny skies, uh, it's finally going to turn on Thursday. And as we predicted, it's going to be like just tons of days in a row where there's at least some rain in the forecast. And it made me think about how grateful I am to have Sump Pump Geeks at my home. The sump pump geeks went down to my basement after we had a big flood years ago and they did their thing. They worked their magic. And since that day, we've never got a drop of water in our basement again. Best money you can spend as a homeowner is to get the sump pump geeks in your basement. You're not going to believe the cost to get them in your basement. 59 bucks. That's it. Can take away the worry for $59. Call the Sump Pump Geeks. Do yourself a favor. Sump Pump Geeks, they're right in Westport, and they can help with that wet basement, turning it into a dry and healthy basement. SumpPumpGeeks.com to find Fun 107. Michael and Maddie, nice sunny morning out there. Going to get into the mid-70s today. So just talking about how I was trying to watch the Patriots game yesterday. Struggling. Just want to watch the game. I cut the cord years ago and so far here's the thing so far since i've cut the cord i figured out what happened i've always been able to use my dad's password for verizon to watch pretty much whatever i wanted all the patriots games which is fine so you could you could access cable tv through your dad's verizon correct cable tv and i'd watch it i'd watch it on my laptop or even better i would use an hdmi cord plug that into my laptop (laughs) And then I'd be able to watch my TV, my big TV. Hacking. To... There's a hacking, lot going on here. Hacking. So anyway, that changed. Something changed this season where the NFL is not allowing that. For... Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But I'm not. Two, two weeks in now, I haven't been able to watch the game using that same method. I had to watch it on my little phone yesterday. Oh, you poor thing. Well, it's what? Just... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not the same I as watching it. I thought you weren't able to watch it at all. No, I just didn't get to see it on my big screen TV the way I should. It's the way football Wait, should be so watched. Why don't you just screen mirror well, it? Well, that's you. The NFL somehow knows. So you're telling me when you're watching it on your thing and yes. you go to the that option on your phone. That is correct. That doesn't seem correct. They know. I that, don't know how they know, but they know. That just doesn't seem correct. So anyway, so I, I put my plea out there. You cable cutters, you cable cutter son of a guns. How are you doing this? How are you football? You, it's so hard to be a football fan. It's the one thing I've not figured out how to, to cut cords and just say, see you later. Still emotionally attached to the football, and I don't know how to watch it. So got some input here this morning on the Fun 107 app. Thank you, CC and Wareham. Uh, CC says, we have Hulu Plus Live for seventy nine ninety nine a month. Okay. I wonder it, if that's the only one she has. But it's about to go up, says CC, and we get to watch all the Pats games, but not the Bruins, so we may switch to Fubo. I'm not paying 80 bucks a month. That's a lot. That's cable. Isn't that cable? Guys. Guys. Just pay it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nuno in Fall River says, I pay $13 a month for a subscription on an Android box app. And I get every single U.S. channel, Portuguese channels, P- there you go. pay-per-view, NFL Network, NFL Red Zone, and it's all legit. If you do your research, I am sure you can find a subscription that is budget-friendly. Jen, New Bedford, says if you go to StreamEast.com, yep. you can watch all games. <laughs> that's how I put it on my TV with AirPlay. Yeah, so well, that sounds sketch. It, it <laughs> is. That sketch? It works. And uh, Is it like some Russian... You know, like website or something. It's it's European. So like you're willingly accepting. I'm 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 getting a virus right now Basically. on my computer. Yeah. I got a uh, <laughs> I got an app on my phone that will do it, and then you just cast it to you. Your... I think the only solution you have is to get a subscription, and then look at your other ones that you probably don't even use. I bet you have Disney Plus. They don't watch they, it anymore. There you go. I I'm sure you have them all too. I'm sure you have Disney Plus, Hulu, Max. Netflix, Prime, I bet you have all of them. And you probably Just consolidate. Use, yes. Literally spend your money on the one that you actually need and get rid of all the other stuff. Michelle, I had the same problem. What, what I did for yesterday's game was a free trial of Fubo TV, and I'm going to get an antenna from Walmart. I oh, like this. Oh, okay. Geez. I'm going to get an antenna from Walmart to try for next week. <laughs> I love this. People are relating to me with this. Wow. They're pretty cheap, but I hear that they get all the local channels, which is what the games are usually on. Michelle, yes. You're is, go it, that is this the return back? of rabbit ears? Is oh. that what's I happening? really think that but I think you can get HD. From those Providence oh my television stations. They shoot it out. They oh, do. my God. Jennifer New Bedford, get cable just for the football season and don't agree to a contract. Is that possible? It's not the worst idea. But it's, it's, it's but you're, when you do that route, you're admitting you're, you lost. Like, you, there was a stare down <laughs> and you lost that stare down with the cable company. Because they're like, you know you still need us. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Exactly. That's- I like the, the. The antenna idea, Michelle, that could be oh, the Just way. get the subscription. <laughs> oh, my God. Devin, it is Michael and Maddie. Nice morning out there. Sunshine, mid-70s today. Oh, by the way, you're, the number you're looking for, good, what, six minutes left? Eight, nine, five. Eight, nine, five. Could get 30 grand in your hand here at Fun 107. I did something kind of out of the box. For me, anyway, over the weekend, I took myself out on a date. Just you? Just you? Yourself How does that work? Maddie? Just me. It was just me, myself, and I. Did you treat yourself nicely? Like, did you? I, I treated myself the most like a woman should be the treated. Menu? <laughs> no, I went to the movies by myself. Oh. I like and that. I'm here to tell you that might be my new favorite thing. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm trying to think what drew you to the movies. Well, I really wanted to see Beetlejuice 2. My husband wasn't really into it. My best friend didn't really want to see it. Why? Really? I know. I'm like, you guys are lame. Um, my husband had training that night. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. Why yeah. not? I had no other plans. Did Pop- you get a big thing of popcorn? First of all, you want to talk about prices? Ooh. One 
adult ticket. Wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. Twelve bucks. For Just a ticket? well, let me finish. One what? one adult ticket plus one small popcorn, which is actually a bucket, and one soft drink. You'll get that fifty bucks 30. right there. 30, 30 something dollars. Oh, yeah. Man. I was oh my god. But anyway, I was so excited. I wore my favorite sweatpants. Nice. I walked in all nonchalant. Like I have my ticket. Where's my theater? And I and we have an Apple Cinemas. I believe you guys have those too. Um, I don't think so. Really? It's the no. one, it's the cinemas where you have like the lounge chair. It reclines. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I picked a seat that was right at the end of the aisle. I reclined my seat. I watched the trailers. I enjoyed the movie. I was laughing to myself. I was like, <laughs> like commenting on the movie by myself. You were the best date ever. Oh my God. I had the best time with myself. It was so <laughs> much fun. You weren't afraid somebody was going to sit next to you? Because those are in twos, it's right? It's assigned seating. You you have to like pick your seat now. Yeah, I know, but what if somebody picked the seat right next to you immediately? That would have ruined it. No, that would have definitely ruined mm, it, and yeah. I would have moved. That's weird. I would have moved. Yeah, I would have gotten up and found a different seat. <laughs> um, it was fantastic. Highly, highly recommend taking yourself out on a date. I'm going to do it. My wife is horrible with movies. She knows it. She'll admit it. My wife is bad, too. She oh. falls asleep. We should go to the movies together. Well, that's what we should do. No. The She's going to ruin is- the whole thing. <laughs> but I, I will say the movie was good. Very good. Uh, but don't expect it to be as good as the original. It's just one of those things. Here's what I want to know. Did anybody check your ticket when you walked in? No. What? Nobody Nobody checks there was the tickets literally, anymore. When I tell you there wasn't a single staff member at the hallway of this the This is theaters, what I'm saying. It I was remember, the weirdest thing. I remember being a kid yeah. trying to get into a rated R movie. Yes. And it was impossible. There's like police were there, like ready to throw you on the ground. I mean, yeah. like It was strict. Yeah. Yep. You couldn't get into a rated R movie. Never mind. Checking tickets. Nobody's yeah. checking tickets. But, but I, I still buy them. With, with that aside, I it was like a big growth <laughs> moment for me because like the Maddie 10 years ago would have never been caught dead alone in a movie theater. Yeah. But the Maddie, the th- 31 year old Maddie was ha- like living her best life. Oh, I love that. Oh, good for you. That's on growth, baby. That's did on growth. Did you not, oh, did you or did you not sneak in candy? No. What, what do you mean, no? Everybody does it. I had my popcorn. I had my I soda. Do I do it all the time. I, in, I just didn't need to. I don't know. I was really more into the popcorn and, and yeah. the Sprite. I got a Sprite, Ooh. Michael. Sprite tastes good at the movies. Oh, yeah. Nice crispy. and crispy. Good. Well, good for you. <laughs> 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 what, 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 